Hello children. Welcome to Enjoy Stories. In this series, we will be reading one story every episode. This is my effort to encourage children to take to reading and start collecting books. Wishing all the very best. Today we will read the story. The Farmer's Luck. This story has been taken from the collection. Grandpa's Stories. Once upon a time, there lived a farmer with his wife and children. He worked hard every day, plowing, sowing, and watering the field. Yet the field yielded very little. So, the farmer remained poor. This went on for fifteen years. The farmer's sons helped him in the field, but everything remained the same. They were still poor, though they worked very hard. They struggled to make both ends meet. One day, the disappointed farmer thought, what is the use of working day and night when I cannot become richer by even a single penny? I will not work in the field today. I will stay in my bed and rest. If I am supposed to have good fortune, it will come to me. I am not going to run after it. So, the farmer stayed in his bed that day. His wife was surprised to see her hard-working husband who was always up by five in the morning, still sleeping. She asked her husband, Are you not well? Don't you have to go to the field? The farmer replied, I work hard day and night. But I hardly earn enough to give us one proper meal. I am going to rest today. The wife said, Don't lose heart. Fortune will smile on us some day. The farmer said, I don't care. I have had enough of fortune's tricks. If it wants to help me, it will have to find me here. The wife coaxed her husband, please go to work. There is no food in the house. But the stubborn farmer refused to pay heed to his wife's pleas. After an hour, there was a knock on the door. The farmer's wife answered the door. She saw a man from the neighboring village requesting to see her husband. She took him to her husband. The man said, Friend, I want some help from you. Will you come with me? The farmer said, Nothing will make me leave my bed today. I am sorry. The man said, Then will you lend me your bullocks? I see that you are not using them today. I will pay something in return. The farmer agreed, and the man left with the farmer's bullocks. The man took the bullocks to a field where he had found a hidden treasure. He filled the treasure in a few sacks and tied them to the sides of the bullocks. The man quietly drove the bullocks towards his house. Now, the treasure belonged to the king, and the man knew this. On the way home, he saw a few soldiers coming towards him. In the fear of being caught and punished, he ran away, leaving the bullocks on the road. The unattended bullocks headed towards their master's house. When they reached the stable, the farmer's wife saw them laden with sacks. She cut the ropes with which the sacks were tied to the bullocks. The sacks fell down. The wife was shocked to see gold coins and gems pouring out of the sacks. She quickly ran inside her hut to call her husband. The farmer said, Have I not told you not to disturb me today? Then his wife told him about the bullocks with the sacks full of treasure. The farmer could not believe this until he saw the sea of gold coins with his own eyes. The farmer gasped, A treasure? I was right about the fortune. I stayed in my bed and it came to me at last. We must be the richest people in the whole country now. If you run after money, it will run away from you. But if you do your work and then rest, money will surely come to you, the farmer explained to his wife. The farmer and his family lived happily ever after. Moral Hard work always pays and we get what we deserve. Hope you all enjoyed listening to this story. Children do subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and friends. 
we will meet again with another story. Thank you.